Good afternoon, guys, and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces, guys. Can we just take one quick second right now and take a look at this dog? What do you have in your mouth? Is that a pair of socks that are in your mouth? I think he's scared to drop it because if he takes it out of his mouth, Bravo's going to try and take it. What do you have? What is in your mouth? <laughs> I've never seen your mouth open so wide to stick a pair of socks in there before. I'm not even joking, guys. He was just like barely holding on to it. He like, look, it's like stuck in his mouth. <laughs> you look like you're trying to eat them. But what's in his mouth? Look at that. He's got them stuffed in his mouth. <laughs> are those? Charlie? Are you supposed to eat socks? It's not a balanced uh, diet, bud. You can't just eat socks. <laughs> Crack me up. I'm gonna need these back, buddy. Drop them. Drop them. <laughs> no, <laughs> I need you to let go. Thank you. You can't have these back, okay? You probably drooled all over them because your mouth has not been closed in about the last 20 seconds. No, you're not going to take them. I'm going to put them in the laundry. Yep, that's not going to happen. That is, that's not going to happen, Charlie. You can't have these back. I'm sorry. I'm going to put them in the laundry. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. So yeah, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> He's really angry at me. I'm going to take a shower and head to bed, guys, because huh, I woke up late today, like probably after 11 o'clock, um, closer to like noon. Honestly, guys, I don't know really why I woke up so late. Like, I guess I went to bed kind of late last night because I stayed up that one night. <laughs> I stayed up until like 6 o'clock or whatever. Not last night, but the night before that. And then now I kind of threw my whole school sleeping schedule off and I was like okay well so that was like on whatever it was Thursday night or Friday night or no Wednesday night that was and so I was like okay well then yesterday night you know I went to bed kind of late I woke up or, or woke up late today too and I was like all right well I can always like maybe get myself kind of back on track like for to to tonight going into tomorrow because we're going to the grocery store so like at worst I'll be going to bed you know like 10 11 o'clock which it's almost 11 right now um and then you know I'll be up by 8 o'clock because we have to go to the grocery stores well my dad is going to work tomorrow because he's been working overtime he's been gone into like five or so o'clock because for one he has to um not pay off but like he getting the new um, water heater he's like wanting to take some overtime and his job has a lot of overtime right now so he's like I wanted to do or you know take advantage of some of that so that they can he can have some more money and two Christmas is coming up and everything so he's been working like I think until five o'clock which normal he gets home I think like five o'clock and normally he gets home like about three or so so I think he's working like an extra two or so hours plus he'll work for like a couple hours tomorrow but I was assuming we were going to go to the grocery store and everything like that. And so I was like, okay, well, like, that'll be good and whatever, right? And, yeah, no, apparently we're not. But I didn't do too much today, guys. Honestly, I wasn't very productive. I did a load of laundry. I ended up not really doing anything else. I did, okay, I edited two vlogs. But here's the thing, guys. I really only edited one because I edited another one. I edited two, I think, Wednesday. And I was like, oh, that's great. And I got one done and everything, and I did the second one. I apparently didn't save the second one, and then I got rid of it off iMovie. And so I had to go back through and edit it again <laughs> because I didn't save it, and I deleted the the like, file or whatever in iMovie. So I had to go back and edit it through again and then saved it. So, um, but <laughs> lucky the... Good thing was it was only a six minute long vlog. So I did that and I was like, oh, I'll do the next one, right? So I got the next one in there and I was getting ready to do that. And then I finished the next one and then I was, I had the other one in my iMovie, but I didn't finish that one today. Um, cause I was going to watch a Bulls or Hawks game and then realized that, um, it was over by the time that I was actually going to sit down and watch it because I was watching prior the TGIT, um, 
some winter finales. Um, I was going to say summer finales. Uh, it was Grey's Anatomy, a Scandal, and How to Get Away with Murder. So all of them left me on like huge cliffhangers, guys. And I'm super ex uh, up. I was going to say excited. Super upset. But I guess the good thing is that like they all come back, I think, July. January, I was going to say July, <laughs> my, my brain's in summer right now, guys. Um, I was going to say it's, I think, January 16th or 18th or something like that. So it's not too super long because we're kind of towards the end of November now. And then we just got like December and then it comes back in the beginning of January. So it's about like two months or so, which isn't, I guess, too bad. But I'm still like, what happened? What happened? So then after that um, was when I was going to watch the Bulls game and edit to that other one and um it was over by that time which they ended up winning and then I was going to um watch what's it called um or I watched with my mom we must have not finished the last episode of I think it's Alias Grace um and then we watched the final episode I think there's only five in this series or something like that but I I don't know if it was a Netflix original I think it might have been it was really good, guys, honestly. I suggest watching that because, like I said, it's on Netflix. I don't know if it's a Netflix original for sure or not. But um, it was really good, guys. Honestly, it's like kind of like that psychological, like, what's going on kind of thing. And, like, you're not totally sure. And, like, I'm still, like, not completely sure either about what actually ended up happening. And that's, like, that's kind of how it leaves you. And... It's, it's a very interesting story. So, um, yeah, and it was, like I said, it was really good. And it's, like, a, it's like a, I guess it's, like, a murder mystery kind of thing. But it's not, like, a traditional murder mystery. It's, like, a huge, like, interesting psychological kind of, I guess, a murder mystery kind of thing. Um, and it's set back to, I was telling you guys, that's when I got back on the whole ancestry thing that I was doing, trying to find my family. She comes over from Ireland, or she comes from... From, yeah, from Ireland, and she comes to Canada, which is the same as my family. So they came to Canada, then they came to the U.S., um, which was cool because I was like, that's the same as mine. And so that's why we were looking that back up. And I think, honestly, too, guys, it might have been right around the same time, maybe a little bit after her. I'm not totally sure, but I think it was, like, right around kind of that same, like, maybe within... 20, 30, 40 years or something like that. I want to say no more than 50, but probably like right around that time. Um, you know, within a couple, a couple decades at least. Um, I'm not even sure. Uh, well, I guess I'm not sure because I don't know. They, they do say something about like one of the canon, not I'm going to say Canada Revolutionary War. <laughs> no, um, it's I think the American Civil War is like but it's a handful of years after that. So I'm not totally sure exactly what time it takes place in. And there's something to that happened in Canada that, like, I guess historically would pinpoint the date. And I don't even know if they say it at the beginning of the movie. But then I also can't remember off the top of my head when my family came over. So I guess none of that information is helpful. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, like I said, going to go take a shower and head to bed. And then I don't really know what I'm even going to do tomorrow because Matthew is actually going with um, his girlfriend, her family, and like her brother. His brother's bringing a friend to, they have like a cabin or they have like a, a vacation house or something like that like up either in Michigan or Wisconsin I can't remember which one he said I just know it's north of us and it's got to be one of those two states <laughs> so um he is going there and he is there for like the weekend so he'll be gone he left tonight and he'll be gone I think Sunday like afternoonish or something like that which I was like oh that's kind of fun but yeah so Jack will be home tomorrow my mom will be home tomorrow but everybody else will be gone so gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with myself <laughs> since I was again planning on going to the grocery stores but I'm not so I don't know I guess I could spend time making my grocery list or maybe doing some more recipe cards kind of like I was doing I think I told you guys about it um that I was trying to do like some freezer dinner recipe kind of things that I can do um in like a uh what's it called freezer dinner like non-freezer dinner recipes to freezer dinner recipes um and like I was making kind of recipe card things that I wanted to do and I also got to figure out too I guess what we're going to do for Thanksgiving because that's this week and we're celebrating with my family on Saturday this Saturday and then we're not 
not tomorrow, but next weekend. And then on a Thursday, I think my mom asked my aunt what she was doing, one of my aunts, but I'm not sure if she like told her or was like my mom offered her to come over here and I honestly have no clue if we're doing anything with them. I know she just said that she mentioned it to find out what they were doing for Thanksgiving. But I don't know if that means like we're going over to them on Thanksgiving or if we're doing inviting her here or what's going on. But um, Bravo is not trying to find socks in my laundry basket. <laughs> Um, anyways though guys, yeah, so we might be doing something with them, but I, again, I'm not totally sure and I don't really think so. And if not though, we have to figure out what we're doing and like I already planned on like turkey and stuff like that that we're getting obviously, but I have to talk to my mom about what we're doing too. And then Tuesday is my birthday, so I don't have to cook anything on Tuesday. Well, actually I don't know. I don't know if we're going out or not. Even if we don't, because my dad was saying, oh, we'll have to go out next Sunday because Matthew will be gone this weekend. So we'll have to go out, I guess, next Sunday because we th Saturday we're doing the Thanksgiving thing. So Sunday, <laughs> we'd be celebrating my birthday. But normally, if it's somebody's birthday and we're not going out on their birthday, like if we have to do something over the weekend, then we'll normally wind up going to, um, we we'll just like order pizza or something like that or some type of food that isn't super expensive. So, um, yeah, I'm probably not cooking on my birthday anyway. And I don't feel like it, guys. It's my birthday. I don't have to do nothing on my birthday. And that's kind of how it is for everybody, too. Like, I won't do, probably do the dishes. I won't do laundry or nothing. Well, honestly, though, I don't know. Like, normally I'm lazy on my birthday, but I feel like I'm lazy almost every day. I mean, like, I still get stuff done, but, like, I just have an excuse. Nobody can be like, Kayla, you didn't do the dishes. I'll be like, well, it's my birthday, but I didn't feel like doing them. <laughs> but I guess it's just, if I get to it, I get to it. And if I don't, then I can use it as an excuse to not do it. <laughs> Um, yeah, guys. Anyways, though, I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we would love it if you'd subscribe. And, oh my, I'm falling asleep, guys. I'll see you all in tomorrow's vlog. So, bye, guys.